Hello Drive HUD users. This is a quick video to kind of go over the new beta version of Drive HUD with the new uh, HUD designer. This is just a real quick and dirty overview video for those who are using the beta version. Um, when we do an official release, we'll have a more official formal video that will go over everything in greater detail, but this will at least get you started and get an idea of what the HUD can do because it's super awesome. I think you guys are going to love it and um, there's just so many different things that you can do here. So I'm going to just give you a quick little um, uh, video on, on some of the things you can do here. So first of all, you have to be in the HUD tab in Drive HUD. Once you're there, you're going to see all your HUD design elements on your right hand side. Uh, everything in here is drag and drop. So you just have to keep that in mind when you're designing. So now you can, in the new designer, you can add as many uh, HUD panels or um, graphs, pop-ups, all sorts of different things that you want to do however you want to do it. And to do that, like I said, everything is drag and drop. So if I want to add another stat panel, just something that's going to be um, separate, say on the side of my HUD here with specific uh, different stats for my main stats, just come down here to the plain stat box, um, drag and drop that, and then it's going to dump me into uh, HUD designer mode. And this HUD designer mode is um, basically, once you are done setting everything up how you want, you would click here to save all the elements that you've now created. Or if you don't like anything, you want to start all over, you just hit the X and it'll start from scratch. So um, let's say I want to add a little um, narrow box on the side of me with some three and four bet stats, maybe some aggression or something. Um, it's all resizable. Um, once the the uh, HUD element is selected, I just come down here into my stats and I'll add a few stats by dragging and dropping them to my selected stats. And you can see them show up here. On this, and now let's say I want a line bar graph of a pop-up. So on mouse over, when I have these stats here, um, I get a line bar of some four bet stats by position. Um, I can go over here to the line bar graph and I drag and drop this onto whatever stat I want. Um, you can see it, it'll be highlighted when it applies to that stat. So it'll come up here. Um, the position of where this is isn't super relevant um, because when you're actually at the table on mouse over it'll show up wherever your mouse is. Um, that's just for the pop-ups. The, the panels like this one and this one, the positioning matter. But um, for the pop-ups, not so much. Those will be dynamic based on where your mouse is. So now I have this this panel. I can add um, a text here, say, four bet by position. I can put that in just to give myself a little bit more of a visual cue of what I'm going to have in for this panel. And then I can just drag and drop whatever stats I want here and they will show up in the panel there. Let's say I want all these. Um, let's say I want small blind up top here. So now I have all these uh, four bet by position um, in the panels here. If I don't like something for some reason I can just drag and drop it back over here and it'll remove it. When I do like what I have, I can just hit the green mark here and then it'll apply it. Once you have a pop-up applied to any kind of stat in a panel, it'll show up as uh, you know, a lighter white. Um, and if you want to edit that panel again or, or any of them, you can just click on it. It'll bring it back up and I can you know, add back in another stat or remove and then save that again. Um, if I want a uh, graph of kind of how my opponent is playing over time, let's say their aggression, how their aggression is progressing, I can just drag and drop a graph here. And it'll show up here, and this will be a plot point graph with hands and the aggression and the stat. So on mouse over, it'll come up with a, a trending graph of kind of how your player is playing. I can, again, apply that. And it'll show up highlighted here again. If I want to remove it, say, nah, it's not really interesting to me anymore. I just click X remove. It'll be removed from here. Um, say I want to add a tilt meter. 
I can just drag and drop that. I can say I want it kind of show up in between here. Um, player profile icon. I can add that to the side here. Um, a text element to kind of give me some kind of verbiage about what what this panel is or you know anything that I basically want um, I can add that in here or remove it uh, so the bumper stickers are already in there and then if for each of the panels when I re-highlight um, I can add in again like the color color ranges for those stats for that panel um, any other player profiling and stuff. So once I have everything positioned how I want, let's say I do want another st stat HUD panel here because I love lots of stats and I'm going to add in some tournament stats even though that makes no sense for this HUD. Um, I can have that and I like what I, I have there so I'm going to hit close that'll apply now and it'll definitely when you have a lot of different panels and things elements going on it'll show up kind of crazy on here but you can see in your preview window I can then save the HUD and I'll call it test 4 and now this will show up um, and I can select this on table um, it's really that easy I can export um, we you'll be able to duplicate this over if you like this particular one to you know a nine max format uh, 10 max or anything else so like I said that's a real quick and dirty overview but I think glad you can see there's just a ton of different things um, again uh, heat maps are disabled for some compliance reasons we'll be adding those in here pretty soon um, hopefully probably sometime within the next few days um, but this will give you an idea just to get you going um, you know like I said it's super cool and there's just a ton you can do if you know once you start playing with it a little more you'll see and just how easy it is just to really construct a very very cool HUD in a short amount of time so that was the goal I hope you guys like it and uh, any feedback and other suggestions too always welcome